Are you a victim of gaslighting? How to respond to it? In our contemporary society, where there is a growing emphasis on mental health awareness, it is crucial to understand the complexities of emotional and psychological manipulation. One notably detrimental form of manipulation is gaslighting. Named after the 1938 play, Gaslight, this tactic involves causing someone to question their own reality, memory, or perceptions. Below, we outline some signs of gaslighting that you should be mindful of. 1. Constant self-doubt. Gaslighting typically starts in a subtle manner. You might notice yourself repeatedly questioning your memories or choices. Those who gaslight are skilled at undermining your confidence in your own judgment and sanity by persistently denying facts and making dismissive remarks. Response: Begin documenting interactions that leave you feeling uncertain or confused. By recording events, you can validate your memories and emotions, creating a clear record to reference later. 2. Feeling isolated. Gaslighters frequently seek to isolate their victims, fostering feelings of loneliness and lack of support. They may try to dissuade you from engaging with friends and family or spread false information about you to others. Response: Keep in touch with trusted friends and family. Discuss your experiences with them to receive perspective and support. Staying connected is crucial to prevent the manipulator's influence from growing stronger. 3. Apologizing frequently. If you find yourself apologizing constantly, even for things that aren't your fault, it could be a sign of gaslighting. Manipulators often make you feel accountable for problems they have caused, creating a cycle of guilt and frequent apologies. Response: Consider the reasons behind your apologies and whether they are justified. Practice self-compassion and remind yourself that you are not responsible for someone else's abusive behavior. 4. Feeling confused or crazy. Gaslighters excel at inducing confusion and disorientation. You may feel as though you are losing your mind because of their relentless contradictions and denial of reality. Response: Seek validation from external sources. Talk about your experiences with someone you trust or consider professional counseling. A therapist can assist you in unraveling the manipulation and reinforcing your grasp on reality. 5. Difficulty making decisions. Over time, gaslighting undermines your confidence in your own judgment, making decision-making increasingly challenging. You may find yourself constantly second-guessing and fearing. 6. You're always wrong. Response: Rebuild your confidence by starting with small, independent decisions and gradually taking on more significant ones. Regaining trust in your own judgment takes time, but with consistent practice, you will strengthen your decision-making abilities. 7. How to respond to gaslighting. Recognize the signs, awareness is the initial step. Understanding that you are being manipulated enables you to take measures to safeguard yourself. Set boundaries, clearly communicate your limits and adhere to them. Inform the gaslighter that manipulative behavior is unacceptable. Seek support, reach out to friends, family, or a mental health professional. External validation is essential for restoring your sense of reality. Document interactions, maintain a journal of events and conversations that appear manipulative. This record can help you identify patterns and provide evidence if necessary. Prioritize self-care, participate in activities that enhance your mental and emotional well-being. Self-care strengthens your resilience against manipulation. How to deal with Monday blues. As the weekend comes to a close, many of us prepare ourselves for the arrival of Monday morning. Whether it signifies the end of relaxation or the start of a busy workweek, Mondays often bring a feeling of apprehension. However, there are proven strategies to tackle the infamous Monday blues and establish a positive outlook for the week ahead. 1. Prepare in advance. Alleviate Monday morning stress by spending time on Friday afternoon organizing and prioritizing tasks for the upcoming week. This proactive strategy provides a clear plan of action by the time Monday arrives, helping to minimize feelings of overwhelm. 2. Establish a morning ritual. Establish a morning routine that helps transition from weekend relaxation to weekday productivity. Whether it includes exercise, meditation, or a leisurely breakfast, a consistent morning ritual sets a positive tone for the day. 3. Set realistic goals. Divide your workload into manageable tasks and set realistic goals for Monday. Completing these early in the day enhances motivation and provides a sense of achievement, making the day feel more productive. 4. Take breaks and stay refreshed. 
Counter Monday burnout by taking regular breaks throughout the day. Activities like stretching, grabbing a coffee, staying hydrated, and briefly stepping away from your desk can help refresh your mind and maintain focus. 5. Cultivate a positive outlook. Instead of fixating on Monday's challenges, focus on the positives awaiting you in the week ahead. Whether it's a lunch with a colleague or an exciting project, keeping a positive mindset enhances your enjoyment and reduces Monday blues. Why is healthy detachment important in relationships? Maintaining healthy detachment in relationships is essential for preserving balance and harmony. Just as with anything in life, excess can be detrimental, and relationships are no exception. Individuals who become overly attached may risk losing their sense of identity and self-worth, becoming excessively reliant on their partner for emotional support and validation. Healthy detachment addresses this issue by encouraging individuals to preserve their sense of self and autonomy within the relationship. It fosters the establishment of boundaries, reduces conflicts, and enhances emotional regulation. Additionally, healthy detachment supports self-discovery and personal growth, allowing individuals to evolve both personally and as partners. By fostering interdependence rather than codependence, healthy detachment strengthens the relationship's foundation, promoting mutual respect, trust, and understanding. Ultimately, it nurtures a relationship built on genuine love, care, and mutual support, enhancing the connection between partners and leading to greater fulfillment and happiness. 1. Emotional Regulation and Stability Emotional regulation and stability are crucial for fostering happy relationships, and healthy detachment plays a key role in achieving them. By promoting the development of effective coping mechanisms and self-soothing techniques, healthy detachment helps partners manage stress and anxiety, enhancing their emotional resilience. Over time, this skill reduces the need to rely exclusively on the partner for emotional support and well-being. It encourages self-trust and confidence, alleviating anxiety, overthinking, and insecurity within the relationship. This is vital for maintaining a positive and healthy outlook. As partners practice healthy detachment, they achieve a secure emotional state, bolstering their self-assurance and trust in their partner's commitment. Shifting focus from dependency on the relationship for validation fosters a more stable and balanced emotional well-being for both partners. 2. Prevents resentment and conflict. Healthy detachment in relationships is crucial for preventing resentment and conflict. It fosters independence, respects boundaries, and encourages open communication free from fear of judgment or rejection. When individuals are not overly reliant on their partners for emotional validation or happiness, they are less likely to experience resentment or frustration, even if their needs aren't always met. By honoring personal boundaries, each person has the space to be themselves without feeling overwhelmed, leading to more genuine and honest interactions. Additionally, healthy detachment enables partners to appreciate their differences and support each other's personal growth without feeling threatened or envious, ultimately minimizing misunderstandings and nurturing a stronger, more fulfilling relationship. 3. Self-discovery and fulfillment. Another important benefit of healthy detachment in relationships is that it promotes self-discovery and personal fulfillment. With a balanced level of detachment, individuals have the freedom to pursue their own interests, passions, and growth opportunities without feeling constrained or frustrated. This journey of self-discovery allows people to gain a deeper understanding of themselves and strengthen their sense of identity. Moreover, when both partners are actively engaged in their own personal growth, they bring added depth and meaning to the relationship, fostering greater mutual understanding, appreciation, and support. By encouraging self-discovery and personal fulfillment, healthy detachment significantly enhances the overall health of the relationship, creating a secure and nurturing environment for both individuals to grow together. 4. Encourages Interdependence Healthy detachment in relationships greatly promotes and nurtures interdependence. By achieving and maintaining a balanced level of detachment, partners can cultivate self-reliance and independence, which lays the groundwork for a strong, interdependent relationship. Interdependence means partners depend on each other for emotional support, collaboration, and mutual growth, all while preserving their individual identities and boundaries. When both partners feel secure in their own independence, they can unite to build a healthy, fulfilling relationship grounded in mutual trust, respect, shared values, and deep affection. This dynamic allows them to support and complement each other without feeling overshadowed or threatened. Such interdependence fosters a deeply heartfelt, genuine, and profound connection, enabling both individuals to grow together and individually. 
5. Boundaries and Respect Another key reason healthy detachment is vital in a relationship is that it establishes and upholds boundaries while enhancing mutual respect. It encourages independence, self-care, and emotional well-being, allowing individuals to remain happy and engaged in their relationship. This approach enables partners to set and communicate their boundaries clearly, confident that their needs and limits will be honored by their partner. Moreover, healthy detachment helps avoid excessive or codependent behaviors where one partner's emotions and actions are overly influenced by the other, leading to a more balanced and fair relationship. By maintaining a healthy level of detachment, partners learn to value personal space and independence while also promoting open communication and mutual support. Ultimately, healthy detachment fosters a relationship grounded in mutual respect, trust, and understanding, essential elements for a fulfilling and meaningful partnership. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.